Maybe, how do you feel about tuk tuks? I think they are ribbing you off. Tuk tuks you only take when you're in Thailand because they're cheap there. Here, it's like 15 euros to go five minutes and we're gonna prove it to you right now. How much to Hard Rock Cafe? So we had Sarah and Chadu. Hard Rock is a four minute drive away. How many guys? We're two. Fifteen? We actually were able to haggle the price down to 10 euros. It's 10 euros. 10 euros. Interestingly, the price was 20 euros four years ago. So, it's 20 euros. Thank you so much. Either way, 10, 15 euros is crazy money. So for reference, if you take a boat, it would probably be four euros. Three and a half euros. And you can be four people. This was for two people, this price. It's so hilarious when they're like, how many are you? Because it really makes a difference yeah. if you are four or two people. And just like that, we ended up in Mango. Who would have thought? It's another ripoff. <laughs> Actually, it's a scam. This is not a scam, but a ripoff of your time. I don't know why, but everybody, tourists, they seem so committed to take this old elevator to the top. But the problem is that you stand in line for an hour. And we once did it, just to prove a point. Okay. <laughs> Fabulous, don't worry. Yeah, you too. First of all, why are you doing this attraction? Because there are so many people and I am, um, yeah. But did you know that you don't have to stand in line, you can walk around and then you can get to the viewpoint? Oh, I didn't know that. Because like here it's like an hour. Oh, really? Yeah. Then let's do this. Plus you pay like six euros to get up and the elevator ride, you can't see anything. Oh, really? Yeah, you can literally walk around and then like you can walk out on the, the whole thing. And then why are we all standing here? That's the real question. To skip the line and the 5 euros and 30 cents fee, you simply walk 3 minutes towards Kamu rooftop where you will see the bridge. The actual viewpoint is 1.5 euros, but still not really worth it. It's simply too touristy. Is this still filming? Yeah. Okay, oh, still You have more to add? <laughs> ATMs in Lisbon. This particular one is a no-go because they charge, especially for Americans, insane fees. It's like 50 euros if you want to get out 200 euros. Instead, go to these multibanco machines because they are represented by the Portuguese bank and they don't rip you off with insane fees. Just make sure that you take money out in euros. If you press your national currency, it's going to be a rip off anyway. We used to say three, four years ago that always have cash in your pocket and that's still a good idea. But honestly, everywhere today, they accept credit card, almost, almost, almost. like, don't. no, no, yeah, because you don't take tuk-tuks. You don't really need cash anymore, unless you want to buy from some markets or whatever. Agree to disagree. You're going to get a drink in a, in a little uh, convenience store or something, and you purchase something for under five euros, they usually only take cash. So, Jon is not correct. I'm just saying, have some cash. <laughs> God, I got that Rona. Video. Five euro Told you. One zero to me. Why is it five euros? Because Max I minimum. Pay a fee for the machine. That machine taxes a bank. The taxes, okay. Drinking on the street like this is a great way to look like a tourist. And we're gonna look like tourists now because we are gonna prove a point that pickpockets. Pocket us is R A I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Be careful with pickpocketers because it has gotten pretty real, especially the last couple of years. And I had an incident last time we were here. I was walking with my phone in the hand and a guy was approaching me and he tried to grab it out of my hand, but he didn't get it. Luckily, it was a miracle. And we have a friend who got chased down the street on one of these e-scooters where they wanted to get his stuff. And that was not even pickpocketing. That was like a proper robbery. But this happens mainly in the evening after dark but pickpocketers of course always because they're very sneaky when you are in the very center of lisbon in paisha figueria when you are in the very center no matter where you will be approached by these drug dealers is it real is it real is it real <laughs> you need good cocaine you have cocaine yeah you need some how much 70 euro program bro how much 70 euro program seven euros 70 70 Hey, your friend, you need? Come on, 70? 70 euro program, 70. 
Yes, seven. I I have I have I have ten euros. Ten euros. I don't get how there is even a market because it's so obvious that they don't have anything that is real. Yet some people do buy. It's fake. They don't sell real stuff, and that's why the police allow them to stay here. But for first time was coming here, it's very. Uh, uncomfortable to have these people approach you. When it comes to getting around Lisbon, we passionately advise against taking a taxi. We always recommend Uber or Bolt. To prove a point, Amelia took a taxi from the airport to downtown Lisbon. So while an Uber is a little less than seven euros and is already here, um, we're gonna see how much a cab is. That's like one of my biggest concerns, because one thing is actually getting a cab, and then the second one is, are they gonna run on the meter? Are they gonna have a fixed price? Do they take card and do they even understand the address I'm going to? I know Lisbon very well, so I can tell if they don't drive the right way. It has happened to us before, so let's hope it doesn't happen again. There's plenty of taxis here, by the way. This taxi driver was friendly and took the fastest route, so he was definitely the exception to the rule. Taking a taxi is not always a bad experience, but it's a lot more likely. It's also inconvenient as you don't have the app as you do with Uber and Bolt. Additionally, it's always more expensive. This trip was 10.35. With an Uber, I would have saved almost 4 euros. Now, if you decide to rent a car, be aware of the people trying to help you park the car. They want a few coins and if you don't give them any, they will give you a strong impression that your car might might not be scratch free when you return. And this is all over Portugal, by the way. So there is one unfortunate uh, reality here in this life. And that is that when you are in beautiful cities like Lisbon, you have a lot of great locations. But at these locations where you feel like, hey, let's have a beer, let's have a glass of wine, maybe some food. Most of these places are not great. They are tourist traps. They wave the menu in your face and they charge so high prices that is basically a waste of everything. If you pick a restaurant above 4.5, usually that's the restaurant you go to and that's when you will get the good service. Like right here behind us, all the restaurants are between 2.5 and 3, which is horrible. And that's also why you should get our guide because we pinpoint all the best places and sometimes you even have good food at great locations. So we have this super cool Lisbon guide and you should get it for the following five reasons. It has all the best restaurants worth going to with photos and even videos. The guide also has all the best things to see and do whether it's museums or fun activities. The guide is interactive so you can always see what is nearby wherever you are. With over 150 sweet locations your Lisbon trip will be so much better and so much easier to plan and each location has a homemade text written by us with insider knowledge and pro tips. Use our code not a scam and get 30% off. Is this a tour trap? No. What did you order? I, I, I got confused and then I didn't order anything. You make me look like an alcoholic. No, I actually make you look less like an alcoholic because people will think that one of them are for me. <laughs> Amelia, so. what the fuck <laughs> is this? I thought it was like a tiny little waffle. Why do you do this to me? You know I cannot handle this. It's a pretty nice and clean place. Service is good, people are kind, but it is terribly rated if you want food here. When you are rated 3.6 on Google Maps, then everything points in the direction that the food is not good. This is a like medium beer, this is 470. Normally a, a, a pint, which is 0 0.5 liter, would be three and a half, so expensive. You know, you shouldn't be hard on yourself. If you're walking past a place and it looks super cute and clean, you just go and sit there. I mean, just don't eat food and, and expect it to be nice. If you insist on eating at a tourist trip, make sure to see the prices for everything you order. Some restaurants will hide the drinks menu where the beer you order costs 50 euros on the bill. And then when you complain, they will show you the drinks menu with this price. amazing how one guy can spread so much happiness. I mean everyone around him is just enjoying his work. It's really nice. I like people like that. But that brings us to the, the next one which is not a scam but uh, well kind of yeah, it is a scam uh, in some ways because what we've noticed is that every time we film a street artist they get angry if we don't no, tip. No not every time. 80% of the time. Yeah, and we saw the other day a uh, musician and he said filming is two euros, which is ridiculous. It's like you can't demand that of people. 
There's a long line to get in there. We are walking to not a scam but a ripoff, and this is a Casello South George, yes. which is, uh, if we have to be honest, probably the best view of Lisbon. But where it gets to become a ripoff is when you pay the entrance. Yeah, the price is ridiculous. This is 15 euros per person. You know, an attraction like this reminds me of the Santa Schuster lift we also just uh, disregarded. I think people, they just feel like they have to go here. I actually think we're a bit arrogant to say that because we never tried this before. We've been in Portugal for five years now, yet this is our first time actually entering Castelo. First of all, we're standing in line for a long time, but it's also the fact that there are many other viewpoints in Lisbon where you get perfect views of yeah. the city. So like, are you willing to pay 30 euros? for two people to, to, to get a view. But it's also a historical site. So so don't be such a pessimistic little tool. It's not a scam, it's just a ripoff. <laughs> this is what our local friend uh, thinks about paying for uh, going here. And and uh, here it goes. No man, it's like it's ridiculous that they're charging that amount for, or any amount really for that, because it used to be free back in my days. And uh, there's nothing to it, it's just a, a decent view and ruins. Even though this is still definitely a rip-off, the view is spectacular. Yeah, I... it's not as bad as you made it sound like. I think it was good for us to come up here. The ruins are beautiful. The view is breathtaking. Breathtaking. The view is breath. The view is breathtaking. I would say seven euros per person would make sense. Fifteen per person is like ridiculous. You can buy a very nice car that will be amazing, but if it's like priced at two hundred thousand euros and it should be 50, then it's a rip-off. So rip-off doesn't mean that it's not cool. They're just taking your money because they know it's cool. Amelia, quiet. 